Hey loves, it's your girl April. So you guys already know what time it is. It's time to do a wig review video or hair tutorial. I did get this hair from Amanda Hair, which is a store on AliExpress. I will post all the information below. So two 20 inches, an 18 inch and a 16 inch frontal. And this is their Brazilian Virgin Kinky Hair. So they are located on AliExpress. So I wanted to get some kinky hair because I'm always doing a silky type hair and I wanted just to try to make a frontal with kinky hair because I don't recall ever making one like that with that type of texture. Like I've made a closure but not a frontal. The first thing that I did you guys was I did um, bleach the frontal like you know the knots and stuff like that. Right now I'm just cutting off the lace on the hair. For those who really 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 expect it to be like that kinky texture then you know this one that they sent me this hair texture which is supposed to mimic it it has like its texture but it also has like at the top of the root it seems a little bit too soft and then at the bottom it seems like it's a little bit more textured so I mean I guess it all depends on you as a consumer or the person that wants to wear it me personally um, I'm feeling like once I go ahead and put some heat to it it's probably gonna get like really really silky I did make it on a regular like dome cap and I did put two wig clips two wig combs in the back and a the last band so we're just going to get into this video really quickly and i'm just going to style it up all right guys so let's get into this i'm going to go ahead and throw this lace front on that i made i did put an elastic band in it so i'm just going to make sure that is snug the two combs that i put in the back the nape area actually work really well as you guys know i am not using combs in the temple of my hair just because my edges are thin and i'm really trying my best to grow them back Plus, I kind of like it without the combs. As long as you are able to tack it down, then that's great. So right here is just the part where I'm going to make me a little bit of baby hairs. You guys are accustomed to this now. You guys know what I do. So I just take out a little bit of the hair on the frontal. I did bleach the knots as I stated, and I did um, pre-pluck the front of the hairline. It actually went well. The bleaching process for this unit was actually really easy, or for this frontal was actually really easy. It did lift really good, so I was happy about that, and it didn't leave any brassy tones which was also great so I was really impressed with the turnout you know turn up turn out of this unit um, it's super long and even though it's only um, 20 inches it does look much longer than that and you know you guys already know why because the inches the longest inches are at the bottom so I do prefer like 20 inches um, but for the most part the hair is super soft and like this was like my first um, kinky textured lace frontal that I ever made so you guys I was like really excited about this hair so I just did this portion off camera because you guys know the drill but I'm definitely going to show you how I laid the baby hairs on the opposite side I did use my Dollar Tree Salon Selectives mousse so if you guys have a Dollar Tree in your area you can definitely check out that mousse it's Salon Selectives and it's in a pink can they also do have the hairspray both of the products are amazing and yes um, I definitely use that along with that I did spray some pump it up hairspray onto the lace hairline and I'm just taking my blow dryer along with the nozzle of the hair dryer the blow dryer excuse me I'm just pressing it into my hair and smoothing down the frontal portion of my hair plus I'm also drying the lace I do use a little trigger that is on the actual clamp of the blow dryer which brings it from hot to cool really fast so at first it goes from cool and then to like medium hot and it just holds down for days like my wig can stay down for days like that just with some pump it up and some mousse and it's just a really simple easy process to do and that is how it turns out so this is the can of salon selector so this is how I do it all I'll just take some of the mousse and just spread it to um, backwards onto my hair and making sure that the majority of the mousse is in the front area basically on the lace where I want it to adhere to my hairline and once I have finished distributing the mousse I'll go ahead and take my favorite toothbrush in the entire whole wide world and I'll sculpt me some baby hairs and such and you know all that good 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 jazzy stuff and I really was trying not to go for too many but I just can't help myself I'll you know I do like them and yeah so I'm just gonna sculpt it down here and make sure that it's even with the opposite side so I did notice that it was uneven so I'm just going to take a little piece of it off with my eyebrow trimmers and that is what I cut 
all of my baby hairs with just to make sure that they're not blunt you know you want to kind of have them like in, looking like a little bit uneven there so after I have went ahead and did that I'm going to take the blow dryer once again and I do have it on cool right where my thumb is at there is a little trigger button and you just push it in and out and that um, brings it cool so I am making it cool right now and just blow drying the actual um, hair styling mousse and hair styling spray onto um, my lace so I'm just blow drying it making it cool and I'm just using the back of my sculpting brush just to just adhere it down you don't have to do that but you know I love to do it like this it's much easier and it does save time and it will hold for like days like I kid you not as long as you sleep, sleep as long as you sleep with a scarf on every night hunties you will be good to go with just styling mousse and a hairspray without all the glue and all the gel I just don't like to use all those products because they make my my wig look really really messy the lace is a mess and then I have to clean it and then like I don't feel like doing that all the time but I do take the back of the nozzle like you see here and I'm just flattening down or just straightening pressing out the hair this also will help the hair blow dry straight and it'll just alleviate a little bit more work that you have to do so once I'm done with that I just go ahead and use a hot comb if need be you don't really have to but you know for this texture hair I'm going to go ahead and just use a hot comb um, but like I was saying, yeah, it's super easy to hold without all the glue and, you know, gel, hair gel, and stuff like that. This is how I do it. Um, and like I said, I do sleep in them sometimes. It will hold on my head for like a few days, especially if I tie a scarf around at night. Then I am definitely good to go. You might have to like put the baby hairs down a little bit at the end. But other than that, you don't have to do anything. So just to straighten out my part, I'm just going to take one of my rat tail combs. And just make my part a little bit more presentable like i said you guys i didn't even have to um um well it didn't come out brassy but i did use the shimmer light shampoo after i washed the bleach out so that may be the reason why it didn't come out brassy um but for the most part the hair is super pretty i love it it's cute and just nice and long i did put one of my wax sticks right here onto the hair just to tame the flyaways and you want to make sure that it's not like a big greasy patch so I'm just going to kind of like evenly distribute it and then once I do that I'll just go back in with my hot comb and just make sure that it's pressed down and it's also all right you guys so i will say this the hair did come out really nice even though it's not as kinky texture it still came out nice so what I'm thinking that this should really be called is yakky texture because to me this is more like a yakky texture versus a kinky texture. You know what I'm saying? Like I absolutely think it is gorgeous hair. Like this is very, very pretty hair. Like it's not too texturized and it's not too untexturized. So that's the reason why I'm saying like it should be like called a yakky texture versus um like versus um kinky because I like it. I do like it. I like how it came out. The only issues I be having sometimes when I make my frontal wigs is that the ear tabs be all the way like over here behind and like it's not supposed to be like that. So I'm trying something else out because see look this is actually supposed to be like you know over here instead of it going behind my hair but i guess it doesn't really matter you just have to customize it to your to your liking you know what i'm saying um but i'm trying something different out with this other platinum blonde wig that i'm making of how i make my cat because i want it to be like perfect um i don't want to have to customize too much but for the most part i like this like so when i flat ironed it excuse me, not flat ironed it but when i hot combed it it didn't really get too bone straight you know and i didn't want to put no curl to it said so i didn't want to put no curl to it that sound kind of like um 
I didn't really want to put a curl to it because I just like it like this like I think this is so cute like all right so it did shed as I was brushing through it and I'm not sure if that's the hair that I had pre-tweezed in the front because you know I did pre-pluck this unit so that is the reason why it's a little bit thinner in the front is I did pre-tweeze it because I just wanted it to look as natural as possible and the hair came out really nice and even when I pre-tweezed it and also all the way to the back so when I pre-tweeze it I don't just do just the hairline because you want it to be even so I pre-tweeze like everything you know I'm going section so hopefully I'll get around to showing you that you guys really soon I just haven't taken the time to do a video showing it because I don't think that um, I'm that good at it so I don't want to show you something that I feel like I, I could use work on. So that is the reason why I don't make a video on it. But, you know, I guess I could do that because I have gotten pretty darn good. And I guess it just, you just have to know when to stop, okay? You just have to know when to stop. Like, for me, curly hair is, like, the hardest. So I don't really try to pre-tweeze a curly wig at all. When I was pre-tweezing the curly wigs, I wasn't doing it correctly. So I have got the method down a whole lot better so amanda hair this actually came out really cute like i'm starting in this is cute mm, wow. i'm like really feeling myself in this hair okay i am i really really am 2020 18 and 16 inch frontal and did i use all the hair i I don't remember if I used, I did not use all the hair. I had like a whole bundle left. I used like a little tiny bit from the third bundle, which was like this much. I didn't have the tracks so close together. Like I normally do like, so if I would have did this like my normal way, it would have really, really been like a lot of hair. But this, when I did it, it came out perfect. It's not too much hair. So that's the one thing that I'm liking about this. I do like this though. It's so pretty. Ooh, yes. So you guys, let me know what you think. I'll post all of the information below for you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I'll see you guys next time. Smoking no cook in the hot pot. No, your bitch is that. Cooking up in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something. I don't try nobody to grip the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get you. Grab me a river, give you a tissue. It's bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up with a Uzi. My niggas is savage, ruthless. We got letters and hundred rounds through. It's bad and bullshit.